Hello and welcome to Millwall Fan TV. This is your post-match analysis of Millwall's draw yesterday to Hull. Um, let's start off by talking about the lineup. So, in goal we played Bart. Um, right back Marlon Romeo. Uh, the two centre backs were Alex Pierce and Jake Cooper, as usual, and the left back was Murray Wallace. Um, in the right midfield played Jed, back from suspension. I thought he played well. Um, Leonard and Thompson in the middle and Mahoney on the left. Now up top we played Smith and Bradshaw. So let's get into discussing how I thought they played. So Bart thought he had a, a good game. I thought, um, well, the, the free kick obviously was a disappointing goal because I feel like if we didn't concede that, we would have won the game. Um, but really, was it his fault? I mean, he normally stands quite far out for a free kick as it is. So realistically... I mean, doesn't really stand any different. So I guess, I mean, he probably could have scrambled back quicker, but everyone has their bad days, and he played brilliantly the rest of the game. So we'll let him off. Um, Romeo, um, I thought he made quite a few good attacking runs. I just thought he he wasn't that strong defensively. Um, Pierce and Jake, uh, Alex Pierce, I thought made some vital interceptions. I thought he played quite well, um, and Cooper. He just doesn't get his head on enough of it or the, at the corners, does he? He's just so big, but he, he just doesn't do it. So, you know, I thought he had a decent game at the back, but in terms of the the corners and the attacking threat, there wasn't much there. Murray Wallace was my man of the match yesterday. I um, thought he did everything right. Didn't see anything he did wrong. Um, you know, he was trying to get up the wing. I know we took him off, but we took him off to bring some more attacking on. But defensively, he was brilliant. He did try and come forward as well, so he was my man of the match yesterday. Uh, right mid was Jed. Jeb was a very close contender. He looked, we looked dangerous when he had the ball, um, lacking the quality. But um, he did look uh, good back from suspension, and he did look like we, we, what we did look um, dangerous as well. So in the middle, Thompson and Leonard Thompson played well. He worked hard as always. Um, looked for, looked good when he's coming forward on the ball. Um, yeah, pretty pretty good performance from Tomo yesterday as usual. Um, Leonard was a huge disappointment for me. Um, I've been moaning about Williams for ages, as you probably know. And um, yesterday, I looked at this line, I thought, brilliant. No Williams, Leonard in the team. He said, Leonard has hugely let us down yesterday. And I thought, Williams probably could have done a better job. Um, but we'll get to discussing the midfield later. Uh, left mid, Mahoney. I thought he looked good in patches. Um, that cross, it just... He, Someone who has the best crossing stats in the league last year, as Harris said, he just didn't want to put a ball in the box. I mean, look at we've got Matt Smith in the box. Why would you not want to put a ball in the box? I mean, you get an assist, won't you? Um, but yeah, I didn't understand that. But I have to see how that goes. Smith, I thought played well. I thought he won most most headers. Um, I thought he looked knackered at the end, but he would do after he played ninety minutes. Uh, Bradshaw didn't get much, if, if we're being honest. He, first half we got the goal, and then we just sat back, so he didn't get much. So we can't really judge him off that performance. Uh, the substitutes that came on. Um, Bob Varsum looked really good for me. I thought he possible contender for Smith's partner. I think he possibly could do. Aiden didn't get enough impact. And Fergie looked good when we were coming forward. Um, but yeah, I didn't see enough of him. So but I thought uh, Bob Varsum looked good. Looked like we could score when we, when we had him. Um, so let's get on to the... Um, the goal. So we uh, scored a first half penalty in the first ten minutes. Jed took it. Good penalty. Um, not much really else to talk about about that. The Grzyski free kick. I mean, nine times out. If he does try that, if he, if he does mean that, then nine times out of ten he's going to miss it. Um, but it was a brilliant strike. You know. Um, but we have to. We, when we when we can see one, then we just got to go. Okay, fair enough. He's he's brilliant. He's had a good strike. Let's go. Let's go and score another one. But we didn't. So. Um, I thought after we scored, they dominated the rest of the half. But in the second half, we came out and we dominated. We dominated. We dominated. We dominated. And the thing that wasn't there was the quality. And that brings me on to my next point about the midfield weaknesses. So I think Mahoney, he's got good potential. Um, not quite settled in as as well we'd like to yet, but I think he will. So I think Mahoney and Jed are sorted on the right and left, unless Scalak can prove something, because he obviously had his chance, but injured. So, I mean, it would have been good to see Jerry. Uh, but um, my opinion is um, 
We're lacking some equality in the midfield. We've got Tomo in there who looks very good coming forward and defensively. I think it's time to see Malumbi start. I, I, I do, I just think Malumbi, give him the international break. You know, he'll go and play for Ireland. Watch him. When, when he comes back, start him against Blackburn. Just start him. Give him a chance because we're not, we're not doing any better because Leonard isn't that good at all. So it's pointless. Keep starting the same people and they're not doing a good job. So Williams, poor, I still think. Um, but yeah, we huge domination in the um, in the second half. We just couldn't make it uh, count. Thought the atmosphere was pretty good yesterday. Apparently it's only 12,500, but that was huge partly down to the fact that Hull only brought about 200. Um, poor support from them, really. Um, but yeah, so... You know, they didn't bring many, so we had, we, we had 12,500 there, apparently. Um, so, nearly 13,000 in all. Uh, not bad. I mean, we'd have taken that last year. Um, not much more else to say, apart from we just need a little bit more urgency in the final third, just to, you know, try and dominate that final third. We're, we're not at the moment. We're just, we're letting them. It's too easy for the defenders. They're just, they're just sitting there, clearing the ball. It's just so easy. So, we do need to... Um, change that hopefully so my last thing is what I'm going to say is um, obviously there's no game from here to Blackburn now so please leave in the comments obviously that's what's the 30 it's the 1st of September today so we plan the 14th so my pre-match predictions will go up on the 12th so there's 12 days from here to the next uh, video um, please leave comment down below of what you think I should do for the next 12 days so you know you could say show whatever you want to see you might want to see um a suggestion video you might want to see uh, a lineup how you would change it you know you might want to see best mill goals i don't mind what whatever you want just put down the video to keep act just to keep active you know because i know te international break much going on you know so well just comment down below and i'll also put a thing on my instagram and twitter and you can comment and whatever you want to do um, we'll ask a question. We'll ask some questions on Instagram as well. So have a look at that. Um, obviously, lastly, please, if you like the video, give it a like, a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've just hit two hundred. So thanks for that, by the way. Uh, yep, yeah, subscribe to our channel. I think without further ado, come on, you lie.